Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something as epic as it gets because we've got ourselves a brand new Passion Charger release. And if you are familiar with my channel, if you've been here for a little while, you'll know that I am a gigantic fan of the Passion Charger product. I think that the dinosaurs, and not only dinosaurs, but different prehistoric animals released by Passion Charger are easily some of the best on the market and honestly i would say passion charger is severely underrated when it comes to their sculpts but this time we've got one that i think might be the absolute most gorgeous carcarodontosaurus i've ever seen and you can see again that we've got a really cool kind of big and beefy and just intimidating looking version of a carcarodontosaurus now this of course is a model kit it would come unassembled and unpainted i painted mine up and obviously built it and i normally just you know review them unpainted and everything but this time i just went ahead built it and painted it and uh figured we'd just look at it like this straight from the start and this one because of that kind of very large and intimidating look it has i didn't feel like i really needed to do much as far as flashy coloration goes so this is what i ended up with and i'm actually really quite happy with it overall because i feel like the coloration of this just kind of being like mostly darker tones and stuff just looks good for the sculpt and the overall general appearance of this very intimidating looking carcarodontosaurus so Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at this right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Carcarodontosaurus, look at how incredibly impressive that sculpt and fine detail is. Like, that is phenomenal. The skin texture and everything looks amazing as you move through the course of the face. There's a lot of really nice, really fine detail that has been added by Passion Charger. You can also see, of course, the nostrils are sculpted out with some pretty nice looking detail there in the eye. I like how the eye is slightly squinted on this side. You can see if we actually go over here and take a look at the opposing eye, the opposing eye is a bit larger and almost has like kind of a startled look to it and I actually really liked that so I painted it out in a way where it kind of has that somewhat startled look even though this eye is kind of you know squinting a little bit and we'll get to why that works so nicely with the model a bit later on but you can also see again just like sort of a lot of really impressive fine detail even like the lips moving and everything here again when it comes to like the lower jaw it looks so so cool and you can see the skin texture the scale detail all looks really nice as you move through the course of the model the car car Dontosaurus does have its head turned in a left leaning position as well as slightly tilted and of course we will find out why exactly that is the case a little bit later on as well you can see that the mouth is sculpted in an open position we can kind of make out some of the skin there kind of stretching on the inside of the mouth the teeth are all sculpted individually and then you can also make out the tongue there on the inside of the mouth everything looks really really good as far as the fine detail goes inside the mouth but the mouth is again being only partially open a little hard to get into especially when we have shadows overtaking it, but you can kind of see what the inside of the mouth looks like detail-wise right there. That was one area that had to be painted before actually assembling the model was the inside of the mouth. There was just no way around it. It would be really hard to paint with the mouth only open that wide. But again, very impressive detailing throughout the course of the mouth. But as you move down here into the neck, you again start to see all sorts of skin wrinkles and skin creases because the dinosaur has its head turned so sharply to the left. You can also see some bulkiness here in the throat, some skin wrinkles here on the underside of the throat. And again, the throat itself is nicely elaborated there. As you continue to move along the upper side, you kind of have like some scoots that move down the spinal column, which looks pretty cool. And on top of that, we have a very interesting take on the skin texture of this Carcarodontosaurus because we have like kind of like jagged almost slightly spiky areas of skin texture or osteoderms that show up through a large portion of the model and I kind of tried to like slightly dry brush those with a lighter tone so they stick out a little bit because I think they just look super cool as you move through the majority of the model but as you move down here into the stomach you can definitely see some pretty decent girth especially when we look at it from up above you can really see some impressive girth in the 
the stomach of the Carcharodontosaurus. So it's clearly a pretty well-fed version of this dinosaur. You can also see like some bulkiness, almost like a gut here, to the stomach of the Carcharodontosaurus. And with the leg taking a step forward, pushing into the stomach, it's kind of pushing the gut down and everything. So again, the most impressive fine detail you'll probably find anywhere when it comes to a Passion Charger release. And as you move down into the arms, you can see the arms look really good, nice and small, like you would expect. You can see the hands, as far as like the hands and the fingers and everything look great. You can almost make out the entire bone structure there in the fingers of the Carcharodontosaurus. And we've got the nails sculpted out quite beautifully as well. They look really good. As you move back up here to the top of the dinosaur, you continue to see kind of like osteoderms and stuff poking up here and there. As we move through the course of the model, you can make out the hip bone. Also a lot of creasing and everything here in front of the thigh again with the dinosaur taking such a nice kind of a step forward there. You can really see how it's smushing the skin of the stomach and showing off all of that wrinkling and everything right there. You can definitely make out the overall muscle definition moving down the thigh, down into the kneecap right there. And as we continue to move down the course of the leg, you see all the really nice looking skin texture as well as a gorgeous, very bird-like foot sculpt down here. And uh, the toes as well have a very bird-like appearance. We have scoots running down the front of the foot, down into the toes, and yet again, the nails look phenomenal as far as the overall realism goes. There is a peg on the underside of the foot, which you can see right there because that's how it attaches to the base. And then we move back up here into the tail. You can see the skin stretching there off of the tail as you move out the length of the tail. There is also a cloaca down here on the underside of the Carcharodontosaurus. But the tail is just so big and bulky and impressive. As you move out the length of the tail, you can see we have a really nice curve for the tail leading along. And uh, on top of the curve looking really nice, you can just see like it's so thick and so bulky moving out into the tail. We continue to have those sort of scoots moving along the top of the spinal column. They run all the way down to the tip of the tail. And again, you can see that the overall sculpting and detailing looks great as well as the general appearance again to the Carcharodontosaurus and moving along the underside you can again as well down here see just how insanely impressive the fine detail is. And then again if we take a look over here at the opposing side of the head you can see how that eye is almost like a little bit more wide open than what we see on the opposing side because it's just been startled by something and that's actually the second half of the diorama. Now what this actually is is you can buy the models individually or together to create one very cool diorama. But we actually have a Carcharodontosaurus walking along up on shore while there is a Spinosaurus down in the water kind of swimming and hunting for fish. And uh, obviously the two kind of startle themselves and they're both reacting to each other at the same time. Now I have only got the Carcharodontosaurus done. I am going to be working on the Spinosaurus next and that one's going to take a little bit longer because that one has more to it. But I am beyond excited to actually get them all together and show off that final product and see how nice it looks. But again, the eye being just kind of a little bit more wide open here and even flinching a little bit on the other side just shows I think the surprise of the Carcharodontosaurus once it realizes that there is a Spinosaurus down in the water that it didn't know prior was there. But as you move back again into the neck, you can see more of the bulkiness here in the throat of the Carcharodontosaurus as well as again just the big muscle definition moving down the course of the neck of the dinosaur. And as we continue to move down here into the body, first of all you can see the arm and everything looks really nice just like we saw on the initial side. It's not too far off as far as the positioning or anything compared to what we saw on the initial side. But one thing that's definitely different over here is we can see a lot more of the stomach region because the leg is trailing as the dinosaur dinosaurs walking along so you can really see again how immense this Carcharodontosaurus is. It is an absolutely massive animal here and uh, I think Passion Charger has absolutely sculpted it out in a way that it shows that off perfectly and again you can see just how impressive that skin texture is like that looks super super realistic but as we move back here you can again see more skin wrinkles and creases here in the lower part of the stomach leading up into the thigh up into the hip area and you can also see again that big muscular looking thigh moving down the course of the leg into the foot which you can see the toes are picking up off of the ground as our Carcharodontosaurus again was taking a nice step you can see the scoots running down the front 
of the toes right there. And you can also see the dew claw now on the opposing foot. And then we lead back up here again into the tail and we lead out the length of that very impressive big bulky tail. So the Carcharodontosaurus, like I said, is easily my new favorite Carcharodontosaurus in my collection. And I do have quite a few, but this thing is gorgeous. And then the base, honestly, is, I would say, as impressive as the dinosaur itself. Look at all the insane amount of detail here on this base. Again, showing off the area up above the water where the Spinosaurus is fishing. And uh, you can see, again, that there's just so much going on when it comes to, like, different earthy textures and, you know, stones, rocks, all sorts of things like that. We have this very large kind of rocky formation right here in the center of the base where we have a hole there to apply our you know, Carcharodontosaurus too with that peg on its foot. And even when you look at it from the side, again, impressive is putting it very mildly when it comes to how good the sculpt is of the earthy area that accompanies this amazing Carcharodontosaurus model. When you look at it from every angle, it is seriously mind-blowing how good that is. Like, it looks like a genuine piece of the earth that I just pulled out of the ground and brought in here to show you guys. So, hopefully my paintwork on this as well looks pretty nice. I'm no professional painter, but I try my best. So, hopefully this looks, you know, at least fairly decent to go with my paint job on the Carcharodontosaurus. But, Honestly, this base is absolutely fantastic, as is the Carcharodontosaurus, and together they make one of the absolute coolest visuals of any model in my collection. But I can't wait to get the Spino area complete and combine all of it to show you guys how awesome the entire thing is when finished. And again, just like I stated, we have that peg there on the foot. You just slide that into the hole, press it down so it's in there nice and safely, and your Carcharodontosaurus stands perfectly on its base and you can actually get these in two different size ranges this is the 135th scale size range but it is also available in 120th and i can't even begin to imagine how absolutely gigantic a 120th scale version of this would be but as far as the size goes on our 135th scale version for a length from the snout to the tail you're looking at about 12 and three quarter inches or around 32 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, I don't know what the highest point would be, probably the back because the head is slightly crouched. You're looking at about five and a quarter inches or right around 13, maybe approaching 13 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Passion Charger Carcharodontosaurus, showing you that it does, even at 135th scale, sport a pretty darn impressive size overall. Definitely a very nice sized model, and probably one of the largest that I have from Passion Charger as a whole. And then we have a size comparison here next to the PNSO Carcharodontosaurus, which is also a beautiful model, but... Honestly, I would say I choose the Passion Charger version yet again. Like, it is just full of so much gritty realism. I just love it so much. But uh, if you happen to have the PNSO version, this should help to give you a pretty good idea of the size. And then when it comes to a comparison with another of my favorite car car Odontosaurus, we have the GR Toys version next to the Passion Charger version. Now, the GR Toys version is incredible, as is the paint job and paint scheme they've given it. Obviously, I didn't go for a paint scheme anywhere near as flashy as what GR Toys did, but yet again, you can see that they look very cool next to each other. The GR Toys version slightly larger than the Passion Charger version, I would say, but it's like the slightest amount of larger size next to the Passion Charger version. And yet again, I would still say my favorite is the Passion Charger. And just to further show you how impressive the size of this car car Dontosaurus is, if you are a Passion Charger collector, there is their Nesuto Ceratops, and you can see that the car car Dontosaurus absolutely towers over that much smaller Nesuto Ceratops. And then it's Attack of the Randoms because we've got the Collecte Dimetrodon, the Safari LTDU Tyrannus, and Schleich Diabloceratops here, kind of surrounding the Passion Charger Carcharodontosaurus, just to help give you again one more idea as far as a size goes. So this brand new Passion Charger Carcharodontosaurus might be my favorite model from them so far, and it really will be my favorite model from them so far once I get the Spinosaurus side of this diorama finished and you know, we apply everything to each other and 
take a look at the entire thing displayed because I'm certain it's going to be one of the coolest things that I have, maybe the coolest thing that I have in my collection. But this car, Carodontosaurus itself, looks fantastic. The sculpt, again, is extremely impressive, as it always is when it comes to a Passion Charger release. He really does go above and beyond to give you the best, absolute best, version of the dinosaur or prehistoric animal that he's creating. And you can see that here with this car, Carodontosaurus. Again, it's just so big and bulky and impressive and it just looks like the type of animal you do not want to mess with it also looks like it's seen some things in its day it kind of reminds me of like a bit of an older carcarodontosaurus that is maybe like the top of the food chain in his area like the senior carcarodontosaurus that you don't want to bother and uh he again has just that impressive kind of rough and rugged look to him on top of that, the rough and rugged kind of appearance and the gritty realism continues as you move through the course of the entire dinosaur. It is just overloaded with amazing detail, amazing fine detail, skin folds, wrinkles, absolutely gorgeous skin texture, and the overall appearance to it looks really cool. I like that slightly crouched kind of a look. And again, I love the fact that he's added in like that kind of squint to the left eye and the right eye kind of being more wide open. It almost looks like, again, the... Spinosaurus just scared the bejesus out of the Carcarodontosaurus, so he kind of flinched because the Spino's kind of coming up sort of and like the left side of the dinosaur, and then again, it just kind of scared the Carcarodontosaurus, almost made it jump a little bit, and now the Carcarodontosaurus maybe is letting out a vocalization of some kind, and that's kind of my takeaway to it. But again, the Models form an amazing diorama, but you can purchase them individually. So if you are interested in grabbing this car, car Dontosaurus, maybe you don't want the Spino, you can just buy the car, car Dontosaurus on its own. But on top of the amazing dinosaur itself, we have an absolutely incredible base that is, again, maybe one of the nicest uh, sculpted bases I've ever seen. And uh, super impressive looking base to complement an absolutely amazing Carcarodontosaurus. Hopefully my paint job looks pretty good on this. I was, again, pretty happy with it. It's pretty much exactly what I was going for when I had seen the model, seen the overall appearance to it. I knew I just kind of wanted to give it like that kind of dark and not so flashy kind of a color scheme. Something that, you know, we would have often seen portrayed on older interpretations of dinosaurs and I just feel like that coloration works really nicely to it although it did give it a little bit of flashiness with some reddish tones in like the stomach and neck and even out onto the tails slightly which are a little bit hard to really pick up on but they're there just to add some slight kind of flashiness to it but as a whole again I was pretty happy with the paint job of both the dinosaur and the base you guys will have to let me know in the comments section if you guys like the overall paint job and everything but also if you are interested make sure you check the links that I will include in the description to where you can go to contact passion charger and order yourself one of these absolutely incredible car car Dontosaurus models today again phenomenal work passion charger can't wait to get the second half of this finished and bring it back in for a review and show you guys the entire thing put together but until then make sure you grab yourself this amazing model and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching